Hello, my fantastically wonderful denizens. I present to you another former network executive reaction TV guide fall preview episode. It's so nice to do these because I'm not a gloomy guy by nature and because they are pure fun and keep me distracted from the war on sanity that has engulfed Hollywood, our educational system, and the franchises we love. I have already covered fall previews uh, 1978 and 1979 and I was ready to move on to my copies from the 80s when I suddenly found this 1977 edition. This is the oldest one I have. It's got some great shows many of you will recognize. I'm going to concentrate on the sitcoms, but as always, I will include other shows I think will be of interest. Let's get to TV Guide Fall Preview 1977. Operation Petticoat, ABC. It's hijinks on the high seas when a U.S. submarine has to take on a collection of female nurses. The commander is Matthew Sherman, who tries to keep his wreck of a submarine afloat while managing a boatload of misfits. But the big problem is those nurses who make it hard for the crew to keep their minds on their jobs. Somehow or another, the sub gets painted pink in the process. Stars of note, John Astin, Jim Varney, and Jamie Lee Curtis lasted two seasons. Certainly, Operation Petticoat gave new meaning to the term Up Periscope. This was a sitcom based on the movie of the same name, which ironically starred Jamie Lee Curtis's dad, Tony Curtis. I don't know. A story about a big, long, hard pink tube that vibrated. I would have thought would have lasted longer. We've got each other. CBS. Role reversal is the theme of this show. Stuart Hibbard works at home and does the cooking and cleaning while his wife, Judy, commutes to Los Angeles to work for photographer Damon Jerome. Ken Redford lives next door and drives Stuart crazy, while Dee Dee Baldwin, a model at the photography studio, drives Judy crazy. Stars Oliver Clark, Beverly Archer, Joan Van Ark, and Tom Poston. Lasted one season. You can clearly tell that this show was counting on the sex appeal of its two stars. Sample episode. Judy's mother comes for a visit, and she's a real bee. And all she does is be critical about everything. Stuart does his best to win her over. There was a real art in writing these episode descriptions, because you'd be sitting there wondering what you were going to watch that evening. There might be a show you didn't watch very often, but the episode description alone could have been enough to entice you to watch. Not a sitcom, but has to be mentioned. The Love Boat, ABC. Love is in the air. Well, not only in the air, but also on the sea. Passengers search for romantic nights aboard a beautiful ship traveling to tropical or mysterious countries decide to pass their vacation aboard the love boat, where Gopher, Dr. Bicker, Isaac, Julie, and Captain Steubing try their best to please them and sometimes help them fall in love. Starring Gavin McLeod, Ted Lang, Bernie Koppel, Fred Grandy, and Lauren Tews. Lasted... 10 seasons. If you had asked me to bet on who would have had the biggest post Mary Tyler Moore show success, it would not have been Gavin McLeod and not this stupid show, but it caught the imagination, if you could call it that, of middle America. On our own, CBS. Maria Bonino and Julia Peters are two secretaries in the high-powered New York advertising agency. They are promoted to art director and copywriter and begin their new careers with enthusiasm. Other people in the agency are J.M. Bedford, chairman of the board, Tony McBain, the president, April Baxter, a copywriter, Eddie Barnes, a TV commercial producer, and Craig Boatwright, a salesman. Starring Bess Armstrong... Lynn Green, John Carpenter Jones, and Dixie Carter. Lasted one year. Sample episode. Julia goes out with an eligible physician, but in a quick turnabout, she comes down with a stomach ailment 
and Julia's date is now her doctor, much to her embarrassment. Soap. ABC. Are we ready for an adult comedy series dedicated to the proposition that adultery, nymphomania, homosexuality, impotence, transvestism, and transsexualism, not to mention race, religion, and gangland murder, can be funny? This spoof of soaps features two families, the Tates and the Campbells, starring Catherine Hellman, Richard Mulligan, Catherine Damon, Ted Wass, Robert Mandon, Billy Crystal, Jennifer Salt, Diana Canova, Jay Johnson, Robert Guillaume, Donnelly Rhodes. Lasted four seasons. Sample episode. Corinne reveals her feelings for Catholic priest Father Timothy Flotsky, but still decides to move in with Bert's son, Peter. Bert cannot reveal his secret to a sex psychiatrist who admits to his own troubles from a Playboy bunny. I could read four seasons of just episode descriptions and you'd be howling with laughter. Brilliant show. Betty White Show, CBS. Over the Hill TV actress Joyce Whitman is the star of a bad network crime drama, Undercover Woman. Acting in such an awful series is bad enough. Being directed by her acerbic ex-husband, John, is even worse. Her roommate is a dizzy blonde named Mitzi, and she's frequently forced to deal with her fuss-budget network executive, Doug. Starring Betty White, John Hillerman, and Georgia Engel. Lasted 14 episodes. Should have followed Gavin to the love boat. Sample episode. During a tax audit, Joyce and John discover they aren't really divorced. Young Daniel Boone. We'll whip past that. I'll mention Rafferty briefly, as it stars Patrick McGowan from my favorite all-time show, The Prisoner, as an ex-military surgeon who is now a cantankerous head surgeon. Now that I recall, I did enjoy this show, and to be honest, I think House borrowed extensively from Rafferty. Back to the sitcoms. The San Pedro Beach Bums, ABC. Five friends since high school decide to share a houseboat in beautiful Southern California. Lasted 10 episodes. No one remembers who was in it. Sample episode. Stuff is duped into thinking he is the next Marlon Brando by two cons who caught him out of $2,000 for a screen test. After everyone on the Mary Tyler Moore Show got fired, Lou Grant went to Los Angeles and became city editor of the L.A. Tribune, owned by Mrs. Pynchon, whom Lou often has loud but sympathetic arguments. Lots of social causes and interpersonal relationships, starring Ed Asner, Robert Walden, Nancy Marchand, lasted five seasons. Lou Grant might have been the first show, other than the Smothers Brothers, that was rumored to have been canceled because of its overt left-leaning politics. The Richard Pryor Show, NBC, a comedy variety show hosted by Richard Pryor. Only four episodes aired. Ten episodes were originally ordered. Pryor walked off the show after disagreements with NBC over the show's time slot and content. Pryor returned, but agreed to produce only four episodes. NBC and Pryor announced that they would produce two specials a year for the next three years to fulfill the 10-episode agreement, but Pryor never worked again for NBC. Man from Atlantis. Really dumb show. Carter Country, ABC. In this lighthearted comic variation of In the Heat of the Night, a white police chief and his officers, including newly arrived black officer, must keep the peace in a small town located in southern USA. Starring Victor French and Keen Holiday. Lasted two seasons. I remember really enjoying this show, though the logline lighthearted comic variation of In the Heat of the Night. I, I don't know how one does a lighthearted version. Sample episode, and th this is a strange description. Chief Roy goes on a crash diet in an attempt to lose weight, and it makes him more irascible than ever. During one of his arrests, he's accused of police brutality, so he must defend his actions. Yeah, th th that, that's a weird one. Just have to mention Chips. Eric Estrada, Larry Wilcox, 
lasted six seasons. Red Fox, ABC, another variety show featuring a well-known stand-up starring Red Fox, Andy Kaufman, and Billy Barty, lasted two episodes. Sanford Arms, NBC, a spinoff of Sanford and Son. Fred and Lamont Sanford moved to Arizona. They sold their old house in Los Angeles and the rooming house next door to Fred's old army buddy, Phil Wheeler. Phil tries to turn the rooming house into a hotel starring Theodore Wilson, B.B. Drake Hooks, and LaWanda Page. Canceled after four episodes. Sample episode. Phil is sued by one of his students when he tries to teach others how to be assertive. Okay. Well, that wraps it up for 1977 Fall Preview. Does it bring back memories or nightmares? Thanks, denizens, for watching. Very much appreciate you joining me on my YouTube adventure. YouTube has been quite a different experience from the traditional media background I came from, but I'm, I'm telling you, these are exciting times. I look forward to your respectful comments. Be seeing you. <laughs>